an 18 volt hatchet from Husqvarna. Wow. Husqvarna have launched a brand new range of products and it's called the Aspire range. Yes, Husqvarna Aspire range, including the long awaited handheld hatchet, a grass trimmer, a hedge trimmer, a leaf blower, a pole saw attachment, and also a rotary lawnmower and a robotic lawnmower. Tested by Machinery Nation. We are Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday all about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any. Let's get cracking. So the Spire range runs on an 18 volt platform and they've got 2.5 amp and 4 amp hour batteries available. But something very special about this battery because it doesn't just power Husqvarna products. So to answer your question, you've been wondering, why do I have a Bosch drill in front of me and also an Alco pressure washer, which I haven't mentioned yet? It's because the same battery that runs all the Aspire range also fits Bosch equipment and Alco battery tools. So there's loads of different brands who have jumped on a platform called Power For All, and their batteries will fit in other brands' products. It's all run by Bosch, there's a Bosch battery here inside, and you can power lots of different brands. So check out which other brands can be powered from the same platform. So the line trimmer, nice simple design. It's got a button on the side there, so you can adjust the handle to put the handle exactly where it's comfortable for you to get the right balance. My favorite feature is this one here. So you pull that clip off there and you can extend it out as far as you want. Because I'm six foot two and most of these little line trimmers are far too short for me to use. I end up bending over to have to try and use them. But that is really long. I don't think there's a longer one on the market. Please let me know if there is. And then you can hold the handle down without bending over. Use your trimmer nice and easily. And then you can actually put that wherever you want. You haven't got to have it full length. So if that's the right length or well, that's the right length, you can put it wherever it's needed. It's not a bump feed head on the end. It's actually got a little button. So you press the button and pull the cord out and then the knife on the side will cut it off to the right length. But nice, simple, easy design. To turn on, you've got a button on the display. There, hold that one down and your light will appear to give your indication of how much is in your battery. So rather than having to turn the trim around to look how much battery's left, it's right there in front of you so you can see how much you've got. Nice little product. Right, let's crack on and have a go. So when you've been using big strimmers and brush cutters all your life, using these always seems a bit of a fad and they just seem to, you know, right for a little postage stamp lawn. But to be fair, I'm really impressed with that. To be fair, the heavier perennials we've just cut down there and the little stinger nettles, I was quite surprised. It's not just a grass trimmer. So the head trimmer, nice and simple, nicely balanced. It's got double reciprocating blades on it, which means both blades are moving on both sides. It's also got this hedge comb. So when you're on the top of a hedge and you're taking off the hedge top, that comb will actually pull the material off rather than it just dropping behind it and then having to rake it off afterwards. So that's a nice feature, but if you don't like that, you can actually slide it off. So I think that's a really, really good feature. Also, it's only a two trigger design. A lot of hedge trimmers now, you've got a hold in the handle there press another button on the side and then pull your trigger in. With this one, it's just the front and then the trigger. So really nice and easy. And you hold that handle wherever you want all the way around the outside. So that's a great, great benefit. The same display as it is on the grass trimmer. So you just hold down the button and it gives you a battery display. Right, let's check it out. It handles the small stuff and the big stuff really, really well. I was quite surprised actually for a little hedge trimmer that it had cut through something about half an inch thick. Nice work. So the leaf blower, quite nice simple design. Again, it's just got one trigger. You haven't got to press another trigger to pull it in to get it to go, but obviously it just blows wind. On the settings on the top here, slightly different than it is on the other two because you've also got another button because you can have it in three different speeds. A low speed, obviously will make your battery last longer. A high speed will use your battery quicker, but get the job done quicker. The nice thing about this, you can actually take the tube off really quite easily. 
because then if you just want nice close up blowing, you can do it. So say if you wanted to dry your car after valeting it or washing it, you can dry it off really easy without having to have the big tube going around. So that works really, really well. Right, let's crack on and blow some leaves. The handheld pruner or hatchet. It's a lovely little design, really, really well balanced. Comes with a 10 centimeter bar and chain, and even comes with a tool which is magnetic onto the side so you can tighten your chain and make sure you've got good tension. Nice little design, let's try it out. Got this bit of dead wood that's falling out of, out of the top of the tree. So let's just chop it up, let's go for it. See how we get on. revolutionizes this from others is this tool here. Yes, this is your long handled pruner. And this tool here fits in to that one there. And you've got a little grub screw underneath. You can do that up, little wheel, tighten that onto there. And then on the other end, you can place your battery. Clip your battery in, and then you've now got a telescopic pruner. So that's nice and handy just to use there for little pieces. But then if you want to extend it up, you can undo this extend that and now you've got a, probably about 15 foot reach which to turn that hatchet into a pole pruner great idea I wouldn't expect you to cut that. So the Aspire range, I am pleasantly surprised, I really am. Domestic small kit doesn't normally impress me, and this is great. There isn't one tool I don't like. To be fair, the least favorite would be the strimmer, just because I don't like that style of strimmer, but that is the best one I've ever used. There's no getting away from it. Very impressed, the blower, the head strimmer, the strimmer, and that is amazing. That is phenomenal. I want to keep it, but I expect Husqvarna want it back. But I really like that, highly rate it. I think it might be a Milwaukee killer. Who knows, we'll do that in another video where we compare all these products against other similar ones on the market. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our action. Right, we're Machinery Nation. We bring you machinery videos every Tuesday and Friday. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.